Right, quick video guys, just to show you progress. Um, obviously that's where the engine goes. Oil tank, control box, batteries, speed controller for the oil pump, ignition, main fuel pump, afterburner pump, hoses, inline fuel filters, tank, all the brakes and then I've got pretty much most of the dash the steering wheel is not the one that will be used top left you've got the EGT top right you've got the TACO P2 oil and um, fuel pressure in the middle to be honest uh, if you're looking at these too much going down the track you're looking at the wrong thing but a much as much there for when you're on the start line or mainly when you're testing um, see if everything's performing uh, don't know if you can see over there there's the plate heat exchange unit top lines stainless tubes go out to the afterburner and the bottom ones are the oil out and then up and back into the engine I'm not doing a very good job. In fact, hang on a second. Just take you on a quick journey, guys, because I'm going to have to get underneath. Yeah, I have to go underneath the cart chassis because the sheds and the cart's too big. There you go. Plate heat exchange unit. Rear brakes. There's lots of people I need to say thanks to, but I'll do a proper video. Seats installed, new high quality stainless steel braided brake lines from Hell Performance Hoses, kennel gate, brakes been serviced, East Midlands Hydraulics as always helping me out with the hoses, Steve Gag with his welding skills extending the chassis. Steve at Proline doing the CNC work, but as I say, it's just a quick and dirty video. Show you how far we've got. Just waiting for the engine there and uh, the afterburner. All the systems work, been proven. So uh, hopefully, the engine will be. We may have some small issues, but I'm hoping we'll get some usable thrust out of it to start with. But yeah, all your Patreon guys, as always, thanks so much for your support. There may be few of us, but we're mighty. We've got this done. Can't wait till the start of the season next year, get it on track. Because we shake down test done at Santa Pod. And then, uh, yeah, the fuel tank and the hoses with the volume of the hoses I've got about 12 litres of usable fuel um, not going to last long but uh, hopefully we're not going to be standing still for long a quarter mile at 120 mile an hour doesn't take long and uh, again if we just do a shakedown at 120 at Alvington um, it's only 30 seconds so uh, yeah still a long way to go but the cart's done, um, so we're, we're we're ready. If you know what I mean, no time's been wasted. We won't be waiting for the cart to be done. We're ready to go as soon as the engine's built. Anyway, check back in a couple of weeks, and I'll do a longer video and and go through everyone that's helped me. So, uh, as always, take care. See you all soon.